Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda. What are we playing? What are we playing? Skyward Sword. Man, I didn't know that. Long, the time has come for you to awake. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny and will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Long. How did he get that open? Hey sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? No? <laughs> Rise and shine, Lung, today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <sighs> All along. Uh, I tested this game before earlier to see if everything works. And it does. Take. Uh, controls are a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they are, they are controls. This, I can just do this. I can grab this and throw it. Good 
morning, Lung. Today is a big wing ceremony, right? I want to fly too, but I, I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Lung, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Where are my rolls? I wanna roll. Lung. Okay. Lung! If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is out the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still locked, so you obviously can't get out there. What's taking the lunch lady so long? We're going to have a word for later. Hey, why are you wearing my outfit in yellow? Hey Lung, the day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. Time to put what you've learned to use. All those practical skills I taught you and all the academic prowess instructor Howell taught you. What we added, do you remember how to look around using the button? Press the button when you want to look at, uh, take a look at your surroundings. I see you. Next to nightliness, keep the steam corners tidy. Okay. Lung. Fletch. Colin and Stritch. Restroom. Ah, we don't need to go there. All I know is that there are a lot of side quests in this game, too. Not as many as in Twilight Princess, I think, but still. Sort of you. Oh, I can go fast. Uh, no. This is weird. No. First and then that. Ooh. I don't, I don't, I don't like the throwing. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Blood statue. I'll save it. Yes, you don't need to ask me three times. Hey, hey Lung, up here. Yo. Morning to you, Lung. Today's final day of the long awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me and we can have a quick chat. Excellent, also you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little, little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why did you come join up? Join me up here. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Okay. What are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Long? Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gamepora, has a pet named Mia, and well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? How can he see her? <laughs> That must have so busy working with Zelda, preparing for the ceremony. Thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and well, you see... We help me and go retrieve Mia for me? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Fantastic, so you do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there, if you hang off that ledge there. You can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. I can't just... Ah, I see. Oh, 
plants. Everything that takes stamina here, right? Whoops. That is one thing I heard about a lot, that people didn't like that. Nice work, you've brought her back in s safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Lung. I suppose I should feed Mia now. He said that Master we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. What? No, no, no. It's, I, I just don't like that kind of stamina system. I believe they are there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Uh, even in Pile World and, uh, and stuff, I, I, I didn't like it. You have a stamina for me. Morning, Lunk. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Yeah, you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? I'm oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. A prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. It's also the biggest thing why I didn't really play Breath of the Wild. Besides the fact that your weapons break for no re good reason whatsoever. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. The chest. Money? 20 bucks. This isn't something I can climb. Oh, it is. So leaping is basically just the same amount. That's good to know. Run. We got a heart. This item's life giving energy resource one heart of life. Oh yes. supposed to be in this. Okay. All that for 20 bucks? God damn it. Guess I need a net. Yeah. 
I'm not singing that. Hey, good morning, Lung. I'm glad to see my loft ring and you're out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. That hand me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too, I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes, I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and his outfit I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Lung. So how do I look? Great! Ah, I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree, thanks Lung. <clears throat> ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father. Ah, Lung, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. <laughs> no doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you get to participate in a post- Post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Baba, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Lunk hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. <laughs> Uh-oh. And even when he's out riding his loft ring, he's just lazily gliding around. Probably daydreaming. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his butt to win today. <laughs> Damn, she's snitching on me. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. <laughs> but you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as you point out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Lunk and his loft ring share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. Oh. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft ring under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, when well, the first meeting between Lung and his loft ring was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Lung and that loftling of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped on the bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the power of a bond shared by Lunk and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nas nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Lunk doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Lunk messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear, it will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you're very old Lunk. Hey! Listen, Lunk, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Well, here comes the tutorial. Here we are. Go on now, jump off the edge and call your loft ring. 
It's almost time for your, the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to wheeze out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. Okay, Lo, go ahead. Just press the button and call your loft wing. Hmm, this bird is sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong. Well, he did say he can't sense his bird. Hang in there, Lunk, I've got you. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Long. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't set your bird nearby, eh, Long? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Lung, when you said you couldn't your off wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to head to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Uh oh. Bing bong, bing bong. Ooh, hmm. My, how do you get, get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this is the instructor horse presenting over the ceremony. Lung, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so you can find your bird. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Lung asks Instructor Hall, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Well, well, I'll explain the situation to him myself, Lung. Run along and tell Instructor Hall to come see me in my quarters. Bob. Uh, are you the guy? No. What's wrong, Lung? You're looking a little pale. What? The loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? Or will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not, you can find that bird on time. Hmm, hmm excuse me. <laughs> I see, so the headmaster has summoned me? Alright then, I go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Okay. I just saw him. Bruce Bird was chasing off after your fellow fella. Which way? Uh, I think, uh, what to be honest, I don't really know where they went. <laughs> don't men open doors for lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Oh, it's you, Lung. Say you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at the school the whole time. Bonk. F. There's a map. Elder. He's not there. He's also out. I think Bruce was downstairs, right? Bruce and Stritch, I think? One? No, just Bruce. Are you Bruce? You're not the one around the academy, are you? What? The Loftwing won't come when you call for it. 
Where would a guardian bot not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs on underclassmen out to dry. We'll figure this out together. We go to the plaza and ask people there if they know something. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. The plaza? Uh... Whoa... It's up morning, Lung. Let's get going. <laughs> Is this open before? I don't know. Who's this? Hold up, Lung. Hey, hey, Lung. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're in front of the tree, bam, do a roll right into it. So come on, please. Press L. Okay. Ow. Whoa! You did it! A sky stack beetle! Wait up! Ooh, money. Hey Lung, how's it going? The wings are about to begin, right? Remember when Pippet won the last one right at the last second? It was so close! Now that was a race. Hey, your Crimson Octane will be in a race, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Oh, is this...? Yeah, we go. <laughs> you know, Gruz, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and packing. Of course it was. You thought a big crimson lofting like that was gonna go down without a fight? Out we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of the pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa, long so Yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You need to talk about today's race. I can see the those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh Gruz, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry pal, Gruz doesn't do charity for whims. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Why is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. Lay off my do right now, I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal, doesn't change the fact that you float for life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Gruz? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Zelda, hey, now it's... Uh... Don't even try it, Gruz. You're picking on Lunk again, aren't you? He's a student academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose... You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you... Uh... <laughs> Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we are here, boys. Later, Lung. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback to what knighthood, so find a bird or get really used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Lunk, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. 
I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Papa said he talked to Instructor Ho about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. To get going. Oh. Let sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance until her chosen hero shall fall, a piercing ray of guidance. So no rolling. Offspring is missing? That's terrible, I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Why do you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You have a good view from, of the whole town from way up there. The statue of the goddess is a great statue in the north of Skylof. Set that place with the X mark. Okay. You know how to read a map, right? Press minus at any time to see a map of the area. If you get lost, just press minus. Rift. Light tower. Graveyard. No. Do need stamina to swim? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Oh, they're blocking the way. Oh, so I'm not supposed to go over there. Gotcha. This? Shouldn't be out my previous couple of permission. What? Fine. I'm not supposed to be over there. Look at this thing. Who knows how long the Satcher has been here? And it only has one eye, poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press the button to look around. Okay, yeah. Oh, I went the right way. Waterfall cave, though we have blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Watch your step there, you can't always depend on knights like me to swoop in and save you. Hey! Well, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Thought I could grab the ledge if I walk slowly, but apparently I can.
Oh, how do I get in there? Oh, not like this. Maybe I don't need to get in there, but around. Oh, no, no. I did find something. So, what I need a sword? Maybe if I just talk to the... to the guy, he's gonna be like, oh, you found him? Wait, what? to find your loved one yet. The fact that Gruz had a hand in your boat's disappearance, I'll tell you that boy is always up to trouble. It must have that is true then all the better. Gruz has made it that much easier to lay the start of the race. I doubt even Gruz will have the gal to complain openly considering it's his fault we had to delay in the first place. I see, yes, he has painted himself into a bit of a corner, hasn't he? Well, let's settle then. Don't worry about the race starting without you. Take the time you need to find your loft wing. Just hurry about one side until you have found your lost loft wing. Don't worry about anything else. Just hurry up and find your bird. Well, I know where he is. Mm? Huh? Why do you want to know where Gruz hangs out? Is he up to no good again? I have no clue where he hangs out. Pivot probably does though. You should ah. talk to him. I think he was looking for you just now. He should be in front of the sparring hall. Oh! <laughs> nah, today is Skyward Sword. Skyward Lunk. I assume this is the sparring hall. Lunk, perfect timing. I heard your Loftwing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fletcher what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Lung. I really want to tell you, but if Gruz found out I told you... It's just like Gruz forced him to, to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. <laughs> Go on. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Gruz and his buddies came and... They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your Loftwing. I wanted to warn you, Lunk, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd, be, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Not like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. 
That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Yeah, I know that already. Forgive me, Dunk. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Hey, it's Lunk. So you still want to get in some sword practice even though to raise the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. You can get a sword that easy? Oh yeah, I want to practice. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. You gotta practice swords. Students at the Knights Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Just a second. Um, controls. We need to add a bit more for that zone. Yeah, same with my left one. Otherwise, he keeps drawing the sword. Yeah, that's fine now. Hmm? Oh yeah? You want to learn about how to use a sword? Sure. Okay, so the basic of swordsmanship. It's important to think about the direction you are swinging your sword. If you swing it vertically, you do a vertical slash. And if you swing it sideways, you do a side slash. Thrust it forward to do a thrust. Next, there's a more advanced technique, the spin attack. It's a perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press the button to target the enemy as soon as you see it. We're getting some practice on these locks. If you forgot, forget how to swing your sword, you can always check the help. Once you slice up those locks, I'll set up so you can try out our, your big move. Flick on in any direction. That's right, Lung. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach too. You make the structure proud. Are ready to try a spin attack? Sure. Great, now I'm going to surround you with locks. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from the spot. Good one. That sure looked like it felt good. So why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Okay. Alright, when your enemy is down, target for its CL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on a lock. When it's down, try finishing out with this technique. Oh, up and down. Oh, up, not up. Oh, wee. Sorry about that. What do you mean I didn't mute? The mute button doesn't work anymore. What is this?
Pep, vamos ver. Wait, what? Recording, stop, resume. Uh, what are the settings for that? <laughs> Could be hotkeys, no? Push to mute. just doesn't work if I click in the game. Okay. Weird champ. That's the way. Fatal Blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-played spin attack to lock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land that Fatal Blow quick before they get up. How do I do a jump attack? Can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your love ring is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just as once, but remember that Scalop is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on those locks first, and once you get outside, with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Oh, fine. Yeah. Oak. That's right, Lunk. You really are a strong swordsman. Oh. Nah. He's a strong lung. No. Hey, 
wait. Quite right, faster this way. Long. Hmm. Change it to switch. Hold only for targeting. That's not good. Oh, we got a monster claw. The security shop claw looks painful to even touch. We got a green rupee, so I have just one rupee, so collect lots of them. Yeah. Combat is going to be a little bit of a challenge. of money. Hit <laughs> me! <laughs> 
Run away. Oops. Like I need to make the dead zone a bit bigger still. Long. Hey Long, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Oh, we find something there. Huh? Who, who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry Lung, I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Look, there he is. No doubt about it, that's a loft wing, Lung. That not a porno. Tutorial, Lung. Now that your loft wing is free, you should try fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard his voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. The strangest feeling. Almost like someone's calling out to me. Oh, that's never a good sign. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that's an empty, barren place, or even though there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of our old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our love things won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lunk, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press the button. Don't worry about falling, your bird will catch you for sure this time. Inverted? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly a bird in any direction when it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. Maybe you can change? Maybe. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude and drop into a di fast dive. 
You can gain some altitude and dive to speed up. How he's handling? Do you think he's flying alright? Oh, now I am allowed to do that. Oh, it's sad. Am I ascending? <laughs> I need to spam in? Oh. Well, I'm pressing A, but I'm going down. Oh, it's B! Ah. Also charge. I think I got it. I forgot that B is A on my controller and A is B. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Lung, but your loft looks like he's flying great. My father and theirs are probably worried about your birds, so let's go and give them the good news. That's why I keep getting confused. Loftring really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. We're going to fly back and tell Father what happened. No. Wow, well, if it isn't Lunk. What around the plaza has you found that dumb bird of yours? Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell t time or the... Again. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell time, all the pre-race warmers, me and the guys that were for nothing, you know, I'm all stiff. <sighs> We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delayed for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I mean, you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Oh, that are our best friends, we go everywhere together. Ugh. I think you're pretty suave. Don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about him. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Bill is playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth Zelda sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda, and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can, I can see it. Oh yeah. Bruce, psst, Bruce, behind you, right behind you. What? Can't you to see I'm in the middle of... Oh. Care to explain just what you mean meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big really, just, just... Lung, yeah, I was just telling my buddy how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look for me during the race. I would want pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Bruce, wait up! 
Did you hear that guy? A fair raise? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Go away, don't let those fools get you down, Lunk. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got those guys beer, and deep down I think you do too. Uh, yeah! That's the spirit, Lunk. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Avengers, assemble. What? Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Lung. America. Oh, wait. Your attention, please. At last, we're ready to begin the wing ceremony. Oh, sorry. Oh. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Lunk, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, where it will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the down button once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough. I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Nah. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. You will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our finest in fine institution. I see what they did there. Because the Skyward Sword was the 25th anniversary release. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... The lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught in the ring with Elrias will answer to me. Cool. It goes double for you, Groos. Hey. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey. Go! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoa, we up. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. Oh no, not the egg! Friendly stream, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that bird is fast. I really don't like these controls, man.
You have the bird satchel. Proves your victory today. What to the at least? Yes. What the fuck did you do, cat? <laughs> he did it. Long. Repeat some of the music. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Lung. Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Ah, the cat just jumped on some bags. <laughs> Hello, cat. Answer yourself. Lung, hand me that bird satchel you grabbed in the race. You must offer it to the goddess. Yeah, she wants food. After the cutscene, okay? After the cuts. Oh, she's rubbing on the mic. Hmm? Wanna be a streamer too, cat? Where cat can? Yeah. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Ah, don't drop on the mic. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens all of the sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of painful landing. That smells nice too. <laughs> Lung, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sake of in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Lunk. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Lunk. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, sort of. <laughs> I'm glad you're so well informed on the subject. You have to jump off the statue. Wow, the debate. <laughs> she wants the skyward sword. Look down, see the big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Keep off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press CR to open your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you really feel as you'd wait until the last second to use the sailcloth. So, ready to jump? Wow. I think that was pretty last second. <laughs> That was perfect, you're amazing, Lunk. Whoop. Also, no egg was harmed during the recording of the stream. You know, Lung, sing us how you want today. And with the weather being so nice. I think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together. Red Burbank. That's a long cutscene.
Lung? Hey, Lung. Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Lung... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh man... What is that? It's a tornado. What's going on? Ah, long. Oh. No, no, he's in Kingdom Hearts. Lung? I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Lung. and carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much we can be grateful. But Lung, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. Oh shit. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You are still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? I see, she was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Lung. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. It's the it's a sword that no one likes apparently. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna feed the cat before she's like actually breaking my stuff.
Lung is back. Yeah. Oh. It's a room. More money? More money. What is? FBI open up. Yeah, that's my first playthrough. No. <clears throat> Watch your footing out there, and in the dark you never know when you might take a wrong step off a ledge. Good dead egg. Oh, don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care. Oh, I didn't want to jump off. Don't feed it past ten. Oh, I was joking. Oh, no, I don't have stamina for that. No, no stamina. Just oh, it was close. Right. right. Wall hex. Deactivated no clip. What is this? Little sword. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to his social customs, I shall provide you with my personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Lung, you must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks for the follow. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. <laughs> to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. We trust you will be a great asset to the company. <laughs> My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you see, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. I 
And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? <laughs> it seems that further persuasion measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Skyward sword. He said the thing. <laughs> you got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete. Master. Lung, my master. Lung. I fed my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I have kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Now, far as all texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds on a vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Lung. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. <laughs> ha! 
This game is very loud. Well, let me turn it down a little bit. A little bit more, I should say. Okay, I think it sounds good. Master Lung, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in a barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Lung, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zeta have a big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what, is, if what this fee says is true, Zeta's alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed all the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Lung, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. Okay. You do your people proud, Lung. I like how he's like super chill about all of this. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Lung, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. Looking fancy. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Take care of your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. He's like super chill about all this. Oh yeah, my my daughter is missing. Uh man. She'll be fine. And oh, if you draw the sword, the apocalypse is near. That's fine, you got this. <laughs> Nung. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you are heading out for, to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Well, I can't do that. 
It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. <laughs> I see, because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You can buy some potions and a shield. They fit in a pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Look, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. You can change a piece of clan. This is not possible in this game. What is this not up to? Hey, I just saw the news. All of all of us. How come you get promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid cards? On top of all that, Bruce won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing? It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Safe. It's been a while. What? Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in a cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparations for your journey. I was just about to go there. I can tell why people don't really like her. What's this? What is that my eyes behold? A young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can see what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes, listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm, gaze deeply to my eyes and come closer. Do I have to? Gaze into my eyes, stare deeply to my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh yes, these lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose on your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from the eyes. Normally I seek 10 rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge but one rupee. So do you want to tell your want me to tell your fortune? Do you dare discover what fate these eyes see? Only one rupee. Uh, sure. Yes, I knew it. Aha, what a treat. You're the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune. It's all coming into focus now. Aha, oh, I see many things. All is revealed. Young men, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? Somewhere blanketed in green, yes? Ah, oh, my eyes, they see all. Trees, everywhere, yes, many trees. It will serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I can see that you are a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a hard portion with you. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Good luck, young man. I think this game really wants me to buy a shield and a potion. I. I don't know how I, I think I, you know. Ah, that's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. And don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 50 rupees. Uh, yes, sure. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. Ah, the customer is always right. I've taken the liberty of placing the item in your pouch. To open your pouch, press and hold R. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, oh, shields have durability in this. Hello there. 
Hey, you there. Yes, you, the bo boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, hmm? Let me tell you. One look at you and I can tell you need my potion by a quarter and four. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the store. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides the potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. Mm. So would you like to buy? Um... Is this a heart potion? That's a vet of heart potion. Drink this tea and it will replenish 8 hearts. When you pick some up for adventure, it's only 20 rupees. Okay, fine. We got a heart potion. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. Mixing them. Ah, oh, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Well, uh, do you have any potions you would like me to infuse? Sure. These are the potions you're currently carrying that I can infuse. Oh. Completely restores all hearts. Okay. Are those all the bottles you can have in this game? 12? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, so you're not interested? Well, I have to see you again. Well, I don't have what you're asking me for, so... 12 bottles, Jesus. Who, who needs to... There's that many. Okay, hold on. I need to increase the dead zone a little bit more. I don't know why. Oh, it's barely outside, I see. We make it 20%. My, my, both my sticks are a little bit loose in the middle. Like, just a little bit. Pull up a little as well. This is tiny bit, I like. Weakling just a bit. The controller is pretty old. So. I mean, the left stick doesn't really matter. be fine now. Hopefully. Bring it up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we've stocked up. The graveyard is open now. I think I'm able to get a bug net from somewhere here. Because I can't infuse my potions without it. Oh man, what a mess. Ah, oh, Lunk, welcome. How's my Pippet doing at school? Well, you should not clean your room. Jesus. Not even my room is that dirty. Oh. 
really sure no one else will come up with this conversion. Then don't give me the option, man. Definitely move those. Hello there. Oh, the luck doesn't make one fifth mess after another. I swear he leaves a grease spot wherever he sits. I know he likes tinkering around with his oily doodads, but I'm drowning in dirty laundry here. Sounds tough. <laughs> it is tough. That greasy luck nut is fraying my wires. He's up at unspeakable hours trying to repair that rusty pile of an old robot he inherited. What he intends to do with that scrap he rejects is beyond me. Hmm. Possible information for later. Poopkins. They're dead now. Well, oh, that's hardly worth it. What is this? Oh, no one home? I don't know, it kind of feels like that I can get something here. Hmm. I assume I just can't get a bug net. Right now. This one is missing the the thingy. Yeah, at least now I can't roll into into doors when I try to open them. <laughs> Money. Grave robbing. Speaking of grave robbing, uh, Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 got a remaster on Steam. <laughs> the old ones. Oh, that was useless. Bonk. Am I just going down? Or am I exploring? I do whatever. Well, I don't know if I can do a lot of things. Meow. Uh-oh. 
How do I land? Oh, I see. Good thing that never explained to me. <laughs> you don't land. Forever free and bound to the skies. Yo. Oh, I said you long. Never thought I'd run into you here. What is this place? This is my secret spot where I come to work the kings out of my sword arm. There was a time I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks was always cheering me on like it was a parade. But as you know, time passes. Yeah, there's a slunk. Always slunk. I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So that's what drives a fella here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Lunk. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold on a second. Get your horse horses holded. There's got to be a way to spice things up a notch or three. Hmm. Uh. Yep, that's a ticket right there. We're going to take a swing and whittling down a big old bamboo right there in the middle of the room. Thing is, see the contest to see how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll throw out here with a prize. It'll cost you 10 rubies to see what you're made of. Want to give it a try? I'm not free? <laughs> Bad. Alright then, get to slicing. Hold up, son, you're all done. Let's count those cuts. At least 15. No. Sounds a stubby little sword. You don't mind mighty well considering that. See, the longer the sword you got, the easier it is to zip through the bamboo like a loaf of warm butter. You get yourself a longer blade in the future. Come back and try again. Uh. Can I not beat it with my current sword? I'm going to need an A game, sure. Oh no! <laughs> Freaking stamina system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just let me do it again. This time I got it. I don't understand. We need to cut it like sideways? Or horizontal? Vertical, I mean? No. Keep balance, so left, right, left, right. Couldn't get that last hit off? Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, no. uh. 
Well, that was better. So, well, son, you're all done. Yeah. And you're wack record. Uh. Oh, wee, that's what I'm talking about. You really brutalized that bamboo, boy. You're surprised. Huh? I want to see you do 28 chops next time. Yeah, I don't have the money for that, sorry. Now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm broke. Oh. What's with these? I open up. I think those ones only open up at night or something. Oops. What is this? I'll work for the day. Those who have business for me can find me here at night. Beetle. Couldn't call my bird. What is this? A little suspicious. Oh, I have to go. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Now you're asking for it. God damn it. <laughs> Hey, he lost it. Die. <laughs> oh. Ow, my face.
Funken. Brutalized. Oh, I think I killed a bug. Oopsie. enough I think I know how to get that. The lumpy pumpkin. Oops. Why would you do that? Get down here, come here this instant. Oops. Oh no, you've kind of made a terrible mess of things, haven't you? Oh, now you're going to be in a world of trouble. <clears throat> you got a piece of art! <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, don't just sit there. Haven't you got something to do right about now? What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee a chandelier cost me. Got that? Ready to own up to your responsibility? No way. Yeah, sure. That's right, and I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time you putting you to work. I need to deliver my famous soup to Igor Skalov's Night Commander. I come as a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? I ready to deliver. Oh. Hey, you haven't got an empty bottle. You have an empty bottle if you want to carry soup. Look at yourself when I come back here. Well, I guess we're not doing that. So many pumpkins. Well, thanks for the hard piece, nerds. <laughs> Goodbye. Tornado. Ow. Damn it. What's with all these chests and their closeness? Why are they so close? No, no, they're, I think, I think they only open up at night or something. I do know a little bit, because I watched a randomizer. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh. I'm gonna say but, but. <laughs> oh, take map. Ooh. Seems this is the only island left. Is that the music glitching out? Oh well. the right up boy I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here a little bit yes. just the answer I was looking for what a smart little guy you are I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy what's it called you ask or even if you didn't ask I call it fun fun island I'm still getting the place set up so hopefully you'll visit again later you might like what you find especially if you like fun and colors okay Well, I guess that's that. guys doing here? He's doing it. Luke is flying down. Into a PNG. Don't even have to press it. Lame. Oh, 
faster. Please make sure to use your cell glove and standing from high elevations. Falling to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. Or failing to do so. I took the liberty of deploying the cell glove for you this time. But in the future you can manually engage it by pressing zero before landing. Masalung, we've arrived. This is a favored surface and has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Seared Grounds. Hey, I know this place from Hyrule Warriors. Seared Grounds. I think we are here. Please proceed with caution, Master. Is she is she gonna do the sail cloth every single time if I don't do that? Interesting, huh? Darkness. Oh, his spidey senses. I'm supposed to be going now. Master, I have information to report. While well, these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Oh, okay. To know, I guess. Oh, wait, come just. The young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess Skyward, take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Surely nothing bad will happen. Oh, 
Master Lung, I am sensing a change in the air that was triggered by your skyward strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Uh, sure. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to reach a search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as a dowsing target and point in the direction you wish to search. That one. Whee! Okay. So this is basically the now you're lost. It's behind there. Princess is another castle. Sealed temple. There's a chest I can open. We got some re revitalizing potion. And another potion for it. A uh, bottle, I mean. And that's a that's a strong stool. Oops. Come here. I have no nets, so I have to slay you. That's a cool tent you got there. Ah, oh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Lung. Ah, Lung. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive. Also, that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. <clears throat> you sat under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet, all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Lunk, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. You set out for Farron Woods to discover their destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here and the map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location and will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. A. I did it. 
though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use a beacon as well and you will find never fear getting lost. Go now, you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit main, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, make the contents from the treasure chest within the room. What you find there should prove useful to you on a journey. Oops. Already grabbed that. You're ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you a safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Lung, go bravely. Let's go, Lung. Look, it's a beacon. Hey, leave that guy alone. Out of the way, scram. I will save you. How do we do the... Oh, left button. Ooh, thanks for dropping in to rescue me, but... Left stick to put the shield up. But who were those red pests? I didn't expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Are you big for taking care of those guys? Let me tell you something fascinating. There's a burp. Hey, but I'm Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these odd statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or down from the Isle of the Goddess of places. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but for one, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It's a real head scratcher, but makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, but you had better brace yourself because I want to blow your mind. Oh, he's gonna blow our mind, guys. So get this. People actually live on the Sky Island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reserve, uh, reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, but this Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, an endless spring of mystical water feeds the river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather? Oh, the weather, but not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. This is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong, it is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Uh, I think I'm good. Ah, that's so bad. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess I can wait. Whoa. What in the world just happened? Do you use some kind of magic? Set to react the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? Sky is safe. Let's save. Mm. 
Goro? What was that? He said I just reacted to you. What did he do? Come on, do not... Do not make a big guy back. A back... A do not make a big guy back. I have got to know. I don't know the statue further, but who knows what I might find out. This game is really testing my, uh, my speech. What is this? Don't make a big guy big. A big guy big. He's big. Oh. Shortcut acquired. He's a big guy. With two E's. Two eyes, sorry. Master, now that you have access to stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back where to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable me usage from the options. Oh yeah, about that. Amigos are pay to win? What do you mean? They don't disappear by itself? Which up? Always have them. Masa, you have entered Farron Woods. Yeah, I noticed. Baron Woods. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species, species to the region. Stop turning my camera, uh, my map. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to research for her. Well, I can, I can already tell why people don't like food. answer was no. Look at these guys. Oh no, they're bullying the, the thing. You okay, but There's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kui. Okay. Give me that. Oh, it's uh. I was like, this plan is looking pretty suspicious. Run, Lunk, run! Huh. 
Oh. All right. Uh. Oof. supposed to be doing here. Let's get him. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks for the follow. Took a big chunk out of my shield. I detected an exceptionally strong dousing response in this area. You should continue searching the vicinity. Yes, we're searching the vicinity. No adventuring allowed. Hey, buddy. It spotted me again. We. Huh? You don't want to eat me? We? I come to think of it. Why did you fight off all those red monsters? You believe I'm Machi. I'm a Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. I don't know why I ran to f no funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. I don't know who she was, but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. Is she a friend of yours, Kui? A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the, with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Magic. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikwi most likely produced a false positive dousing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, oh boy, I have theorized there's an 85% chance that the Kikwi Elder will also regenerate a dousing reaction for the same reason. Nevertheless, you continue dousing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Keep Palip, it sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the elder. If we're heading that way anyway, Kui, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kui. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Read this. What is this? You're an amber relic. These amber-colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Okay, I assume that way. Yeah, somewhere over there. I can't defeat those guys, yeah? Me, I taste terrible. Let me go, Gwee. 
Huh? But you don't seem like a monster, Kui. A girl with blonde hair, you say? Once I saw anyone like that, I was lying low this whole time. I'm Ulu. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here, Kipari. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Okay. Bonk. Ow. I think I'm supposed to find these. I'm just being a little bit ahead of myself. I mean position. Damn, he's strong. That's a fiber. Yeah, get stepped, no. Interesting. No, oh. I feel like that's a pretty good angle to go at. Just practicing for the bamboo thing. I did, but nothing happened. I blocked the shot and it just bounced off of my shoe. Everything deal one heart damage, Jesus Christ. Do you have to time the block? Maybe, maybe I time it wrong. Oh, 
My shit is al almost broke. So. Oh, what is this? We got a jelly blob. Made of like a boring wet of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Blob. Jelly egg. I don't think that's an egg. Can I do this? Oh, I have to balance, right? No, 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 no. No. I... No. Yeah. I did it. Dive, right? Yeah. Okay. I have to jump from above. I think. rupees I guess that's the order so wait but I I did see one more oh he's probably gonna tell me to find them anyway so Delay on that is a little bit annoying. It'll be fine. Hello there. Wait, <laughs> I am Butcher, the Kikwi Elder. Not why you spotted me from my ingenious camouflage queen. You are clearly a master woodsman. Elder? Are the girl creature with the blonde hair? You look like one of your kind. Yes, yeah, she was with me, queen. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I'm worried about my missing tribe. We, the shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people, Queen? 
Okay, so much and all are safe, eh? Oh, but there are still monsters lurking in the front, so I dare not leave the spot. Two more of my tribes are still unaccounted for, Kree. Could I ask you to search the area for them and make sure they are safe? I have been worried about my fellow Kikwis, but if you could put my fears to rest, I might remember something about where the girl you seek went. I think the Zed are so long with the Kikwi are as an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Do you need me to explain? No. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and the dowsing readings for them. That way you will not visit the same kickways. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing kickways. <sighs> I wonder why people don't like her. It's a fairy. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. This play for Sprite replenishes six of your hearts. Only six? He says with only six. Oh. Oh, that's not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well! I could have probably used the Skyward Strike, right? Supposed to do this. Ooh, don't fall, Lunk, Lunk. That guy. Okay. Fall of all those red guys, so does that mean that you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly and can't get down. Think you could help me, Kui? Uh. That uh, was effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm safe. Ki Palib? Really? The other was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear you're safe, Ki Ku. My name's Luxa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I'm? Oh, Queen, my legs are still shaking. What? 
I have never played this game. Oh, I see. Flying to. Oh, that's nice at least. I've been discovered, and here I thought I had a good hiding place, Queen. I'm Erla. You won't find another kick in this woods that's half as good as hiding as I am. Except the other, of course, Queen. I'm not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the kick we elder. Okay, stay safe. You met the elder, and he's okay? Who? Glad to hear it, Queen. You see him again, would you please tell him I'm here? Well, at least I now know how to get those ropes down. Needs to do that on the other side. War. Ow. No, don't do it. Don't shoot, I'm a human. Hey, I found your people. Hey, so all my fellow, fellow Kikwis are well. They want me to stop worrying? Aha, uh -huh, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have many. You have my thanks. <laughs> Quee I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remember where that young lady went. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Queen. Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. I think she had it down that way toward the temple, Queen. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. Oh, I almost forgot, Queen. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Yeah. Let me just fetch it for you right now, Queen. Pardon me a moment. Boom. 
It's a slingshot. You got the slingshot. Use this projectile shooting weapon to fling Deku seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. If that slingshot Kui, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where the temple is. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Hold to ready your slingshot, Kui, then release to land a short fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. Now go find that girl, I'll be rooting for you, Kui. Eh, eh. Hey, but what if I shoot that one? Oh, yes, that's for the grappling hook. That was an execution. Oh. So there's a safe right here. Oh. Master, I highly suggest you save the progress of a quest before you set out for the Temple Deep within the woods in pursuit of Zelda. Yeah, also, uh, I'll stop for, for now. I might stream more of this after raid tomorrow. Depends on how I feel. We'll see. This is seems to reach a temple where Zelda is. Even here you get backseat game. As a match. Okay. Yeah, I'll... I, I maybe continue tomorrow. So... Thanks so much for watching, and have a lovely rest of the night. Bye-bye.